we have the last game of the season in front of us. We have an incredible outside chance of actually hitting the playoffs. But it would require about 16 things going our way. And if we do actually manage it, then I'm going to mosey on down to the shop. And I'm going to go and buy myself a lottery ticket. Welcome back. We have episode 21 of our wonderful Cabri adventure. We still have Hubert Grashik as our best player. And I'm going to have to level with you now. This is about the 15th time I've done this intro. Between my computer crashing twice, between me getting all the way through the end of the intro and then realising that I hadn't actually changed my screen. And then, as a follow up to that, uh, getting halfway through the actual game, then realising that my mic wasn't turned on properly. So we're here now. Hopefully we don't have any other things, because both me, my whole setup, um, and, I don't know, the dog, are going to be out that window. So, hopefully all works well. But before we jump any further, if you could do me the wonderful favour of liking, subscribing, show your support on the channel, it will make me feel a million times better. Since you were last with me, we've played four games. We've won them all. We've won them all at a pump. Joe McGregor has actually scored his first goal of the year in mid-April. So that's not great. But we took a handful of fans with us to meet up with another 8,000 or something silly from Plymouth to go and beat them 5-1. We then played Leighton Orient in which we won 4-0 away from home. Uh, a game against Northampton, which was 1-0 for us. A 3-0 win against Preston. And then we have our final game of the season, which is the one that we're doing today, against Sheffield Wednesday. They they beat us quite comprehensively earlier in the season. It was a 5-2. We took the lead, and then we didn't have it again, and we lost 5-2. So, that's a thing. So hopefully we just won't get battered. But the game itself, there's quite a few tasty fixtures. So we're battling, as you may have noticed earlier, for sixth place. We're currently three points off here. We have a far superior goal difference against, I mean, majority of the teams in the league. Definitely the teams that we're up against. However, we're paying one of the best teams in the league. So it's not likely that we're going to win, but if we do, we've got to also hope that Albion, Peterborough, Bristol Rovers and Rochdale, that neither of them win as well. So there's a lot of dice that need to be rolled and need to come out in our favour. There's a lot of green links. It's nice to see. We've had a few games that everyone's been friends and it's all picking up. So that's good. We've got Grashik in goal. Watkin Jones, Astley, Drysdale and El Morsi is the back four. Wilson and Brewster outside of Key and Peak. And then we've also got John and Sol as the strike partners. We have a throw in for Wednesday on their left hand side. About five minutes in, they've already scored. I'm going to level the game when I says I got to half time without any mic. They scored a free kick in the first minute. So it didn't happen quite as urgently, but they've, they've still scored against us within six minutes. So <laughs> we're still down. We did get to half time in that one though at 1 0. So are we going to do the same? As a goal kick, Grashik puts it all the way up to Sol, who nods it over. No, he doesn't. He kicks it towards Wilson. He did have a man running on the outside. Didn't use him. Brewster's bought it down with a pretty impressive touch, to be fair. And it's just smashed away. Another kick from Grashik, outside his area this time. Tries to put it all the way to the left winger. Then their midfielder has a volley whilst running in the opposite direction uh, at goal, which was actually on target, worryingly. Grashik managed to save. John's been put through on goal by Key. He's put it in the net. It's 1-1. It's good to see. Probably our best player at the point when we purchased him. And he scored 10 goals for the season, which... It's not fantastic, if we're honest, for a striker. But that hopeful ball forward dragged both their centre-backs out of position. It allowed John to get through. Goalie was kind of caught in no man's land as well. Pretty poor goal to concede for Wednesday, but... I'm more than happy for them to do so. We're almost at half-time now. We are still in 10th place. Um, 
I didn't mention actually. We are able technically to drop to 11th, but the team behind us have got a goal difference which is weaker than ours by about 26. So we're basically settled in 10th at least, and all we can do is improve today. So hopefully we do so. Unless we see a 27 goal swing, which, I mean, will be very surprising. But here's the hoping that doesn't happen. Sundquist just connected to the corner, and he headed it over. There's a highlight just before half-time finishes. Drysdale picks it up from the goalie. Back to Grashik. He lumps it forward, out to Wilson, nods it into key, but he gets intercepted. So, Sundfist is recycling possession for them. Good ball forward to Redhead, who just passes his shot just wide of the right post. It is now half-time. We've, we've not performed badly. Not, not great by any stretch of the imagination, but not badly. As it stands, because both ourselves and MK Dons are drawing, well, I say ourselves, Sheffield and MK Dons, um, there isn't any movement at the top of the league. Uh, Barnsley are actually winning. Scratch that. Dons have just scored. Dons have scored. They've taken the automatic spot. If we can upset Wednesday at least, the last game of the season, and be sent home from Hillsborough with sore heads because everyone's been shouting at us, then uh, it's all good. At least we've upset someone else. <laughs> Colwell's got the ball out on the left for them. He's uh, put it towards Kirby. Good ball into Haywood, but his head's just over. Grashik definitely had it covered anyway, because he's an absolute monster. Just gone past the 71st, so we're going to watch this highlight through. We're going to ignore that. And the woman make some substitutions. Sol puts a good ball through to John. Oh, and Montero makes a brilliant save for them. It's a corner for us on our right-hand side. Is this key going to put this in? It is. Drysdale? No, Astley? Oh, and his head's just over. So we'll make those substitutions now. We will take Stevie Peak off because he's not playing particularly well. We'll put on Conlon for him. Hopefully it won't be his last game for us, but we'll see what we can do in the window. Wilson can come off for Brady. And Watkin Jones isn't playing particularly well either, so we'll put Clark in for him. So we've made all three subs. We've only got 18 minutes left. He's hoping we don't pick up an injury. We've got the ball with John. It's been put through towards Sol. Fantastic bring down. Gets around his player. He does have a man open at the back post. He had a shot. Of course he did. Of course he had a shot. We've just gone through. Less than five minutes of allocated time. Conlon puts the ball towards the back post. Drysdale connects with it. And his head goes just agonisingly over. At this rate, if we can pick up the win, we can drag one position out of this, which would be nice. But I'm thinking at the moment we just crack on... Oh, wait there. Yeah, okay. It appears that Wednesday don't want to relinquish second place. And they've scored in injury time. I was literally just saying how we can try and nick a position. Immediately conceded. I'm blaming John for this, because... What, <laughs> what, what was that? Was it a pass? No. Was it dribbling? No, because he just stopped running. He is a clown. Not a fan. Might see if I can flog him for a stupid amount of time as well. Time. Money. That's what it's called. Montero with a fantastic clutch from them. Um, I'm a little bit upset. We've... Mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. They're a good team, obviously. They're going up automatically. We played... Mm, we've played okay against the stronger teams. We've got a lot of work to do in the transfer window. And hopefully we can get that done. I know we've got a lot of money to play with, but I didn't want to just be throwing it at them. But I think now, to be honest, in this window, I might look at trying to make a little bit more of the uh, funds and the finances that we've got and try and have a push towards the top of the table next year. We got beaten quite comfortably there, if you're looking at the stats. We only had three shots on target, but had an XG of uh, 1.93, which is questionable. It's time for our season review. We've had an all right season. Lil rating straight away. I'm going to give it a C. It was all right. Didn't really push for anything. Comfortably safe in the league. I'll take a C. Got what I wanted out of it. We'll run through sign-ins this time because we're actually spending money on people. Drysdale was fantastic this season. A little bit little bit sketchy at the start, I thought, but came into it. Conlon was a good pickup. Pretty important, actually. I picked him up just, I think it was mid-December, to, to fill him with that uh, deep light playmaker role. Godfrey John. I don't know. I don't know, not sold. We'll see what we can get out of him. Hopefully we can get some teams interested and just throw him in the bin. Watkin Jones, pretty interested in him. 
pretty, pretty interested. Pretty uh, impressed with him, I've been. An A-plus from the board as well. They loved it. Good him. They're over the moon. Uh, Brewster, good signing. Picked him up on loan after the season on that left wing. Stevie Peak again. Picked him up at the start of the year. Seven goals, seven assists from 44 fixtures. For someone that played predominantly as a deep line playmaker, even though his best role is box to box, so he played really well. Kamara was the free winger we picked up. He's harsh. Played quite a few games. Didn't really, like, kind of set the world on fire, but played quite well. Anthony Key that we picked up from Villa. The board, board give him a D, and yet he's signing the season for the fans, so take from that what you want. Tyree Wilson was an A. Literally, they don't care that he played worse than Key. Contributed a bit more, to be fair, like goals-wise, but he was a more advanced player. Um, But he had a lower wage, therefore he's an A, and he's got a higher wage, so he's a D. The board needs to get in the bin. Right, this is the one that we actually spent money on. The board disappointed with him, and it's down to us giving him too much money. It's fair enough. He was a bit crap. Cameron Kerr didn't play with us. Didn't play with us? Didn't play for us in the end. Quite a small wage. Big fee, considering it's four times what we paid for another one. Um, But they give him a save for some reason. And then, then we've got Wakefield, who managed to play one cup game for us. Um, And I didn't register him, so... We literally threw money away. I'm curious as to what the board are going to say. Yeah, they are livid. Understandably so. Transfers out. Beareth for 18k to Preston. They're happy with that and pleased to get his wages off. A million pound for Stephen Durkin. Are they going to be upset? Are they going to be happy? Are they just not going to care? Realistically, we picked him up on a free. We had him for three or four years. We sold him for a million quid. If the board are anything other than over the moon... I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. It's a C. It's a C. One million pound. Fifty percent of his next sale. C. Idiots. Um, Astley they were over the moon to loan him out, and then he came back to us and he played really well as well. So I'm pretty impressed by him. He's played really well for us this season. He's become our best centre back as well. Our season. They wanted us to avoid relegation. We finished in tenth. The board give us a B for that. They deleted. They deleted. <laughs> They're deleted. With a top half finish, which is um, which is nice to hear. We finished tenth, more than happy with that. FA Cup, the one in fourth round, second round, sorry, we give them the fourth. They give us a B minus. They wanted second round in the Carabao, we give them the fourth. They give us a C plus. And the Papa Johns, they wanted the southern round, uh, second round, and we got knocked out in the group stage. They weren't particularly pleased about that one. Moments to remember: we have a six nil against Accrington, a four one against Cheltenham as our match to remember. And peak with his goal of the season. This isn't the one that I mentioned in one of the episodes. The goal, I've just seen it, is a free kick. I mean, probably doesn't take a genius to figure it out. But, um, yeah, <laughs> a pretty tasty free kick as well. I think it was on a uh, recording because it went right in the postage stamp. Goalie was there, couldn't save it. Finances. The reputation hadn't changed at all. Neither of the sponsorship deals. However, the revenue has gone up in every single category, which is nice. Um, I think that's following the promotion, I suppose. But sponsorship went up at over twofold, actually. Corporate and hospitality went up about 40k. Uh, revenue went up about 100k. Competition prize money, again, was over double. And the match day and commercial has gone up 50k. 103k of merchandise sales. 1,627 shirts with the names of McGregor. El Morsi, John, Conlon, and Saul. Our team of the year is Grashik in goal, Watkin Jones, Drysdale, Taylor, and El Morsi, Wilson and Kamara outside of Key and Peak, and then John supporting McGregor. So it's pretty much a, a familiar team that we played. We picked up last season the uh, Skybet Lee 2 Manager of the Year. This year hasn't been drawn out, so I, I'm not sure why it tells us that now. You could just tell us at the end of the season, that's fine. Um, record breakers. Our record transfer fee was for Cameron Kerr, 40k on the left winger. Uh, also, Stephen Durkin for the transfer fee received. Fans player of the season, Grashik, what a guy. Young player of the season, McGregor. Sign of the season, key. Goal of the season, peak, that we've just seen. Top goal scorer was McGregor with 21. Most assists with Clark, who was on and off, right back, left back, and rotation. Most player of the matches was McGregor with 5. Highest average rating was Grashik with 7.1. And Stevie Peake got the most passes per 90, with 37. Our vision and expectations have us avoiding relegation next season, 
and then they want us to be an established League One team. Obviously, we're not interested in that. We want to do better. I'm going to try and get rid of these two things, though. Um, and I'll suggest that as it is. Do you know what? I'll move this up one to try and sweeten the deal. Come on, stop mugging me off now. I don't want these things on. Well, I guess we're having those things. Don't worry. We'll make the most of set pieces and play high-tempo pressing football. It's not really what we do, but... I'll just have to upset them. The board have come to me about improving our youth level, which obviously I'm on board with. But they're actively getting me to encourage. So yes, I do want you to do so. Thank you very much. We've also had our um, initial budget, which um, it's a bit ridiculous. It's 47 grand a week, 1.4 million in the budget. I might just bin it and spend all of it, just see what happens. Another season. Bites the dust. We'll be back on Friday for the transfer special, opening game of the season. And we can have a look at what what I've managed to work from the window. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, mount a challenge for promotion. But if you have enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, flick the bell, all the usual goodness. And thank you for your time. <laughs>